Ladies and gentlemen, Sasquatches and aliens, fish people and reptilians, we are now officially under 100 days away from the damn release of Kingdom Hearts 3, folks. This is not a drill! Again, I, I just gotta say, I'm like the whitest dancer out. You guys already know this. Should really start investing in some like dancing classes or something, eh? Because this, this is really hard to watch. I was doing that for no more than 45 seconds, and I feel like I've just run a marathon, dude. What is wrong with me? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Cynical, and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. Today, for you guys, I thought we'd talk about the fact that we are now literally under 100 days away from Kingdom Hearts being released worldwide. It's a pretty insane thing, considering that this journey has been, uh, torturous, long, painful, uh, exciting at the same time, of course, but uh, we, we've been waiting a very, very long time for this game, even prior to the official announcement back in 2013. Uh, you know, there's always that sort of stipulation with people saying, we've been waiting way too long, ever since the release of Kingdom Hearts 2 back in 2006. I mean, yeah, true, true, but Square Enix have been pumping out Kingdom Hearts games left, right, and center ever since then, folks. A few days ago, I actually wanted to see exactly how many days between the initial announcement of Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 3, which was June of 2013, to the worldwide release of the game, which is obviously January 29th, 2019. Those days add up to a total of 2,059 days. So, come the 29th of January 2019, all of us would have waited since the initial announcement of KH3 2,059 days for this damn thing to release. It's, it's sort of insane. Although at the same time, it makes me sort of appreciate this time, although it has been extremely long, and yes, Tetsuya Nomura has mentioned in the past that they feel like they actually announced Kingdom Hearts 3 a little bit too early. At least we're not in the situation of Final Fantasy Versus 13, which then went on to be Final Fantasy 15, as literally that game went through 10 years of development. Obviously, there were a lot of different sticky situations that happened during its development cycle, hence the reason it took that long. But at least we can appreciate that uh, opposed to 10 years, we've only had to wait about uh, like four and a bit years. So. I'm happy with that. But honestly guys, this ride has been absolutely insane. Obviously, uh, the stuff to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't all and completely over. We still have November to go, we still have December to go, and then of course the majority of January. So I would say that Square Enix will most likely uh, end up using November for something. We have the Luca Comics and Games uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 panel happening November 3rd, so surely there's going to be something juicy coming out of that. Then of course December rolls around and then we have Jump Festa, which Square Enix are always known to have some sort of an appearance at Jump Festa, especially in the ways of Kingdom Hearts. This is most likely going to be the final place where we'll get the last, final, juicy, golden goose batch of KH3 news and information. Most likely where Square Enix will step forward to reveal the rest of the remaining worlds, whatever these might be. And of course, leading up to the release of Kingdom Hearts 3 in January, Square will most likely have a few other extra little cool secret surprises in store for us. But just to think that this whole entire waiting thing is is almost over. It's exciting because we're getting extremely close to the release of the game, but at the same time, it's also kind of sad because once Kingdom Hearts 3 is out in terms of any sort of news and anticipation behind what's going to be in the game, in the sense of things like mechanics, features, worlds, characters, all of that is going to be over and done with. And, I mean, who really knows when the next Kingdom Hearts game is going to come out once 3 has been released? Obviously, we know that Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't the final Kingdom Hearts installment in the series, so keep, keep your knickers on, guys. It's okay. The series isn't dying after this. We're fine. We're still going to be running around with the boy that has overly large shoes and a massive fucking key. It's cool. We're still going to be doing that stuff. But just to think that Kingdom Hearts 3 is definitely the most anticipated Kingdom Hearts title in the entirety of the series, to think that this game is almost here in our beautiful hands. Oh my god, scary, sad, and exciting. 
at the same time. Now the issue with Kingdom Hearts 3 being less than 100 days away from being released is that of course there's not too many more days to go before the game is in our hands, but that's the exact problem. When we know that there is only so many days before we are going to be getting this, it actually makes the wait longer than it actually seems. And whenever I get excited about something, when I know that it's coming up extremely soon, the wait is always so much longer than any time before that. I mean, so far we've had to wait, you know, like over four years. So you, you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, what's like another 90 odd days opposed to like four years? Yeah, you're right. But trust me, if you're counting down those sort of final 90 days, holy goose nipples, it's going to take a long time. The other really crazy thing to look back on is just how much we know about Kingdom Hearts 3 as of this moment in time. I remember back in 2015, uh, E3, when we sort of got our first real Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, which was obviously showing off Twilight Town, Tangled, and Olympus. That was like a real first ever look or glimpse into what exactly Kingdom Hearts 3 is. After the 2015 trailer, I remember just thinking to myself, like, I need to know as much as I can about this game. Like, it was the same prior to seeing that trailer, but once we finally got our first little sort of taste test, Oh my god, man, I was just like, I need more Square, you can't just drop a 2015 trailer and then leave us hanging dry until the end of 2015, and then of course 2016, it was pretty dry, I was more so focusing on 2.8. But to where we are now with knowing like all of these worlds, we've now seen mini games, people have literally played the game itself. We know about a bunch of characters that are going to be returning. Uh, obviously we have different dialogue pieces that are now on the internet, it's giving us context towards set certain different things. The story related stuff, especially to do with the Seekers of Darkness, Aqua, Sora, I mean man, it, it is, it's crazy to look back on where we once used to be to where we are now, dude. It, it's a really insane thing. At this point though, because we have seen a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3, I am just itching to actually play the game, and of course, we are not too far away. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to kind of get this out to sort of talk a little bit about this sort of journey. It's been absolutely amazing. Of course, it is not over yet. We still have a few more months to go, which these are gonna be some of the hardest months ever. But we'll, we'll be okay, we've waited a long time so far, so what's another few months? <laughs> it's gonna be long. In the comment section down below though guys, list your top three things that you're most excited for for Kingdom Hearts 3. I would love to know what all of you guys are looking forward to, aside from the obvious, you know, new mechanics, new features, the new graphics. G g give me some interesting stuff. Alright guys, I'm Cynical, hopefully you dudes are having an absolutely fantastic day, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit him on a page, you'll be coming through stain. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crank, gaming up your bitch though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.